If you would have told me before the season started that Deshaun Watson was going to play six games and Nick Chubb was going to play two games for the Cleveland Browns this year, I would have told you they are going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. They just won 11 games. They just clinched the playoffs last night against the Jets. What Kevin Stefanski has done this year with the Cleveland Browns I think is a miracle, honestly, and I think he deserves to be coach of the year. I'm not denying that there are some other great cases out there. Obviously, Dan Campbell, who I picked in my uh, – mid-season awards video. Uh, D'Amico Ryans, what he's done has been incredible. Shane Steichen, like, there's definitely a lot of guys out there that have had impressive cases, but I don't think any of them stack up to what Kevin Stefanski has done. To win 11 games with the carousel of quarterbacks that he has had, you know, we've had four different starting quarterbacks for the Cleveland Browns this year. Obviously, Deshaun Watson, P.J. Walker, the rookie Dorian Thompson Robinson, and then of course now Joe Flacco, who's one of the biggest stories in the NFL. The fact that that could happen is crazy because you see some of the other coaches around the league whenever their uh, star quarterback goes down, the team basically implodes. You know, like let's just look in division at my Steelers. The Steelers, after Kenny Pickett got hurt, have been dreadful. They've been very hard to watch. You know, there's plenty of examples around the league of whenever a star quarterback gets hurt, a team essentially implodes. And on top of that, like we said, Nick Chubb, the lifeblood of the Cleveland Browns offense, arguably the you know one of the three best players at his position. For those guys to go down and the fact that this team has 11 wins, I think he should win Coach of the Year on that alone. And then you look at what he's done with Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco sucked his past couple of years in the NFL, particularly last year with the Jets. Joe Flacco was really bad. Go look at the numbers. This year, Joe Flacco looks like the second coming of Peyton Manning. I mean, the guy has a cannon of an arm, and I think Stefanski is really just using him in the correct way. It's really showing the weapons that Cleveland actually does have. Their O-line is really good right now. And, you know, you, you just think of the Browns not that long ago were probably one of the the worst teams, not only in the NFL, but one of the worst teams in professional American sports. They were the laughing stock of the NFL for so long. You know, they went 0-16. They were just terrible. Kevin Stefanski, this is his fourth year in Cleveland, and he's made the playoffs. This is going to be his second time. So two out of the four years Stefanski's been there, they've been a playoff-level team. I think that's extremely impressive. Uh, you look back to some of the individual standout performances this team has had, I mean, they beat the San Francisco 49ers with P.J. Walker as the quarterback. You know, Amari Cooper looks like prime Randy Moss in Stefanski's offense. So I just think given all that stuff, given the fact that he's had so many different quarterbacks start for him, his stars have been hurt, they've been dealing with all that, and they're at 11 wins and he's got Flacco looking this good, I think he should be the coach of the year this year.